Hey guys, Cruxel. Here's a no bullshit overview to creating an auto exec and also some useful scripts I have that I wanted to show you guys. First up is download Notepad++ from the link that I'm going to have in the description. It's very legit. Uh, I wouldn't lie to you guys, obviously. And a huge note, make sure that CSGO is closed because if it is open and you do all this shit, as soon as you close CSGO, it's going to undo all the stuff you've done. So you're going to waste your time. Now you're going to navigate to your user files in the Steam library. And I listed the pathway here. Basically C, program files, x86, Steam, user data. And now if you have multiple accounts, you're just going to see a bunch of folders with numbers. So to find your actual user account, you're going to want to hit inventory, trade offers, who can send me trade offers. And then after the token in the trade offer link is what your actual number is. So you can see mine starts with 220. So I know which folder that is now. If I go back into my user folder, I can see which one is for my account. Now you're going to navigate to the 730 folder, local, CFG. And this is where your config.cfg is going to be located as long as you haven't changed anything. Now you want to open up the Google Drive link that I have linked. This is the actual auto exec you're going to be working off of. It's going to give you a warning if you download it on Chrome that it might be sketchy, but that's because it says that for every .cfg file. Drag it into this folder and right click open with Notepad++, assuming you installed it. Here's what it should look like just right as you open it. And you're going to do the same thing, right click config.cfg and open that with Notepad++ and then drag it in out to another window so that you look at them side by side. You're going to next want to control A and copy every single thing in your config.cfg and paste it in between the two dashed lines. You'll see the instructions in the actual autoexec.cfg folder. Now that that's in, I'll go over the first script we have here, which is the jump throw for grenades. Any star you see is a value that you need to change. So here you're just going to be changing what key you want to have bound to it. Also, if you don't want anything in this video listed, you can just remove it from the autoexec and it'll remove it from your game. As you can see, I like to have J for the jump throw bind. Pretty straightforward. Here's the script to display damage info after you die or after a round. It's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like ESEA from normal matchmaking. Here's for you to pick your preferred color. I have all the colors listed. I'm a big fan of light blue, so I'm going to choose three. And down here is the question I get asked every single video. How do I get my crosshair to change when I'm lining up smokes? This one's kind of a bitch to do. I'm not even going to lie. But um, you're basically going to go to this first line under the title and enter whatever key you want to have it bound to. For example, I have it bound to control just because that's how it works with my keyboard. I like having it there. And the second line here with the numbers already inputted, you're not going to touch at all until the very end. But the third line, however, every star that you see needs to be cross referenced with your actual normal config.cfg. You're going to put in the same values you have for your crosshair now so that it doesn't mess it up when you hit the key again and go back to your original crosshair. Navigate in your config.cfg folder to your crosshair settings. I'm going to highlight them all here. You're basically just going to cross reference. As you can see, I have a crosshair alpha of 400. I'm going to speed it up here because it does take a little bit to get all the figures in correctly, but make sure you do it correctly. You might want to back up your CFG before you do any of this as well, just in case you mess something up. For the second and third line at the very end, you're going to want to enter the same key that you entered in the beginning, which was control for me. So that way, when I hit control, it not only changes the crosshair to wide for smokes, but it also changes it back. Next up here are just some really nice headphones and speaker settings. Not that you should be playing on speakers, but they're really fucking nice and they make me hear better. Also, here's the new command that a lot of people are missing out on that Valve added. It shows your teammates' equipment over their head at all times. You can bind a key to that if you'd like. And finally, at the bottom is my fully customizable bybinds. I know a lot of people are kind of unsure of how to create them. You basically go with whatever weapon you want to make a bybind for. Delete the star symbol and enter what key you want. For example, I have one for scout, two for op. That's not my usual config. I'm just entering random shit. For the Nova, let's say I want to do the I key. And then you can leave the very bottom thing alone and it will finalize your config. If you don't want to bind a key to buy something, just simply don't change the star. Now, when you exit out, make sure you want to control S or just go file save and save all your work. So you're not wasting time. Now you're going to go into Steam before you launch the game. Go library, right click on CSGO, properties, set launch options. You're going to have probably empty launch options unlike me but you want to enter the value plus exec space auto exec dot CFG. And that basically means every time you start your game, it's going to automatically execute that file and run what's ever in your auto exec. So as you can see here, I'm pressing one, two, and then I buying all my shit with my buy binds without even opening the menu. I do unfortunately have to open it up to buy a smoke here because I didn't create a buy bind for it for this video. And as I hit the control button, I'm switching my crosshair, just like you guys see in the video. And here I just do a fake lineup for a smoke. And I hit J while I'm priming the grenade and it does a jump throw. So everything works out of the box as long as you do everything like I told you. And finally, here's the script at the end of the round where you can see the damage you've done to enemies. Some people don't like that. I just think it's kind of a cool thing to have. 
So yeah, that pretty much does it. Hopefully you guys are able to follow along. Thanks for watching.